Hey everyone, it's uh, Destry here on my gaming channel. I got hit in the face with a softball, so my voice. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's my. It's just, it's just a joke. It's, I'm. I'm. I'm back to normal. Um, I'm gonna be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops uh, here on the map Cracked, and I am joined with my friend, my good, my good senor. Uh, wait, does that mean Mister? I don't know. Senor? Uh, oh. Chris. Yes, this is Chris, and um, we're gonna be talking about a whole bunch of shit. Ooh, look at that dolphin dive. I don't give a fuck about that dolphin dive because we're gonna be talking about a whole bunch of shit that's awesomer than dolphin diving ever could be, such as how awesome this fucking snipe is right here. Oh hey, he's sitting up in that window. How did you? Uh, how do you know he was gonna be there? Well, here's a good piece of advice for anyone who wants to get good at Call of Duty is always know enemy spawn points because if you notice um, all of my teammates are on the other side of the map at this point um, there's that one guy kind of right next to me uh, but you know everyone is mostly over there so the reason that I got that kill just now from my claymore is because I knew that the spawn points would change and that all the enemy players would be kind of focused here on the right side of the map but now you kind of see that my players uh, the green are going to be spawning on this side. So that's kind of why I was like, okay, they're most likely going to be uh, over on the left side of the screen rather than right here. But um, yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty common knowledge. Uh, a lot of people don't really think about it though when they're looking at their map. They're just like, oh, where's the red dot? I don't see him anywhere. But would, uh, yeah. Would you think uh, using Ghost Pro is pretty, pretty good for a sniper? Like, is it a must? Um, for a sniper? It's definitely a plus. It's not like a must because there are other perks that work really well for snipers. Um, I'm not gonna say, hey, if you're a sniper, you need to play or you need to use fucking ghost. But good kill. It was a good kill. Um, one of the one of the things I will say about ghost is that um, if you're going to run ghost with a sniper rifle, you're going to need a suppressor because what a suppressor does is it makes sure that you're uh, that the you you can't see firing on the screen like so. For example, the spy planes will not reveal your position if you have ghost, but if you fire it will your gun, reveal. it will reveal it. Yeah, right. So um, when you have a suppressor on it, no one knows where you are because nothing flares from your gun, mm. and they can't see you anywhere. So I've gotten actually several kills where I'm just sitting somewhere, and I'm just picking off this guy uh, like three or four shots at him, and he has no fucking idea where I am. So... I yeah. I noticed you like to generally stay in like the same area throughout the game. Like I'm pretty sure you don't go in the middle once through this. Yeah, that was a horrible, horrible death right there. Um, yeah, what I will say about that is just that, um, especially for a sniper class, you don't want to be in the center of the map doing all the fighting. Uh, unless you're really fucking good at no-scoping with a sniper, which is almost impossible in Black Ops. I think you do really good right here. I do do really good right here. Three Probably kills. one of the proudest achievements of my fucking life. Why did you set your things there? Like, um, well, if like like before, I said that you should know your enemy spawn points and stuff. So I knew the enemies were over here, since all of the green, if you look, are on that side of the map. So using that, I knew that all the enemies would be kind of in this general area, and I knew that okay, they're over there. They're gonna be looking for my care packages that I just left. So then I just basically hit around the corner and I was like, hey fucker, <laughs> trying to get my care packages? I don't fucking think so. So, so uh, yeah. Let's talk about our favorite classes. Hey, how about fucking not? No, let's let's talk about it. Do you want, do you want me to go first? Uh, yeah, you know, go, tell, tell us what you like to use. All right. So basically, I like to use the FAMAS. No one cares. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, keep going. I'm just being an asshole. Yeah, you are. You're always an asshole. <laughs> oh. I like to use the FAMAS. Um, it's by far one of my favorites. Ooh, what are you doing right here? Why the FAMAS? Don't, the don't pay attention to this part. I die. No, I want to see this. No, actually, I don't die right here. But um, the, I like to use the FAMAS because uh, the fast fire rate, it has a really fast fire rate, and plus with a dual mag, you get a reload fast. But if you look at the stats on the AUG to the FAMAS, if you compare them, the AUG is weaker, but the reload speed, it's, it's somehow it's faster. Yeah. But uh, the, the only reason why I like the FAMAS is if you put a suppressor on it and um, dual mag, I don't think you can do that, can you? You can, I think. Well, Lord. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I'm <laughs> going to. <laughs> but anyway, I just I like the FAMAS just because of the rate, uh, well, fast fire rate. Why is it that everyone? Oh wait, why is it that everyone uses the FAMAS? Because everyone that I've ever gotten killed by uses a fucking FAMAS. Well, the most popular guns is the FAMAS and the AUG, just right? Because of the fire rate and the fast reloading speed. It's definitely like really mobile. Like you can use it pretty much any time. Like you can get far away dudes and guys that are really close yes. up, and that's that's nice. But uh. 
as far as my favorite classes would go, um, I would say that my first is probably the G11, which uh, I've heard a lot of people say, why the G11? G11 sucks. It's my favorite, too. It's the gun I'm good at. Yeah. It's um, my emergency class. Basically, me and Chris have this thing called an emergency class, which uh, is like, hey, if we're losing this game, we need to whip out the G11 and start opponents some asshole. Exactly. Because um, how, we, how we do with the G11 is like, I can no-scope with the G11 like it's nobody's business. Like, I fucking rock at no-scoping with the G11. And I don't know why it's just the G11, because other guns I suck huge hairy balls at, but, like, just G11 I rock at. And, uh, yeah, that, I would say G11, you need to have, um, what is that fucking perk? Uh, um, Slide of Hand Pro? Yes, Slide of Hand Pro with the G11 is best, because it has this weird kind of reloading thing where you have to, like, pull the, uh, the like bolt thing off the top and then like slam another one in there kind of weird but uh that is actually really slow if you don't have sleight of hand pro what are you doing right now um right now i like to have my voice crack so uh don't mind me <laughs> no seriously what are uh, you i am actually just protecting my um sentry gun because the sentry gun if you noticed has gotten the last four of my kills and um you know Oh, I thought oh, I thought I got that guy. What a bitch, bro! Fucking asshole. You, oh, so you went around the corner? To yeah, see I if thought he was that there. maybe he'd be there, but nope. Um, yeah. So what I'm doing right here? Oh, you just saw that guy go in the thing, and I was like, "Fuck no! Get the fuck away from here!" And then I blew up my own sentry, sentry. gun. I was pissed. But um, what I do is I like to protect my sentry guns because if they're raking in most of my kills and they get destroyed, because they can get destroyed really easy. Someone just hits it a couple times and they're gone. So what I like to do is guard my sentry guns, and uh, that way no one can get to it and whatnot. Um, but we're kind of getting to the end of this gameplay, and in no way am I saying that I'm good at Call of Duty at all, but this is probably one of my best gameplays. So uh, thank you guys for joining me and Chris. Uh, Chris, you want to say anything? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Oh, this was a good kill. Yeah, and uh, that was the end, so join me next time. All right.